GOP criticism recently when he said that the Republicans' health care plan amounts to wanting sick people to die quickly. Today, he and Representative Ron Paul are calling on the Senate Banking Committee to postpone the confirmation of Ben Bernanke as Federal Reserve Chairman. Representative Grayson is live on Capitol Hill right now for first on CNBC interview. Representative, good to have you on the program. Thank Why you, do you Maria. want to delay for the Bernanke uh, confirmation? Because we need the information in order to judge whether Bernanke deserves to be reconfirmed. Basic information about what the Fed has done for the past 12 months or more simply isn't available. We don't know anything about off balance sheet transactions. We don't know who received the Fed's largesse on the balance sheet that shows. So we need to find out more to know whether he deserves to be reconfirmed. Well, do you think, and what does your gut tell you? Does he deserve it? I think he's done a good job of crisis management, but the fact is we don't know what he's done with the money. You know, it's as if the Federal Reserve is wearing a mask, and uh, that might work well for trick and treat, but uh, not for the whole U.S. economy. We need to strip off that mask and find out what they've done with our money. Do you have any expectation, realistic expectation, that there will actually be a delay? Yes. What, where, what is that based on? We cannot, the Senate is too responsible a body to confirm anyone who hasn't provided the basic information about how well he's done his job for years. I don't believe the Senate's willing to do that. The Senate needs the information that's the same way that the American people do. Uh, um, let, let me ask you this. During that moment in time, I guess a year ago, when you had you know, things falling apart the weekend that uh, Lehman Brothers declared bankruptcy, what should Bernanke have done? I don't think that he should have taken what amounts to taxpayer resources and handed them to private interests. We've had all sorts of indications of secret bailouts, and we need to pin this down. $230 billion of liabilities was taken off of Citicorp's balance sheet and adopted by the Federal Reserve without the Federal Reserve putting on its balance sheet. Those are the sort of shenanigans that will come back to haunt us for years to come. We need to pin them down and find this out while we can in order to find out whether he's done a good job or a bad job. Well, you think, you and, your colleagues, you think you and your colleagues in the Democratic Party are going to start, uh, slow down the spending? Perhaps that could help the deficit? Maria, are you a Republican? No, I'm asking you a question because I'm trying to get on the other side of every issue. <laughs> That's a different issue, Maria. Let's stick I know. to the subject. It's okay. We have time. Time? Okay, I'll tell you this. We are dealing in a crisis. We're trying to keep the schools open. We're trying to keep the hospitals open. We're doing what needs to be done to, to keep ourselves <laughs> intact while the economy improves. So that's why we're running a deficit. It's that simple. All right. Representative, I hope you come back because I want to get into the health care story with you. Good. I'd love to do that, Let's Maria. Do Thank that. you. Come back soon. Representative Grayson, good to have you on the program. Thanks very much. My pleasure. Alan Grayson joining us on Capitol Hill. Halloween theme stores helping to fill vacant retail spaces. And will they provide a real lift to the troubled industry? Diana Olick on the beat. Diana.